Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll show you how you can make a 12 to 220 volts inverter with the TL494 passive moderation IC. The complete circuit schematics is shown. So at the input, you have your 12 volts from a battery. With this uh, 1000 microfarads decoupling capacitor to stabilize the voltage and the resistors for switching. The TL494 comes in a 16 pin green line package. The complete pinout and connection sensor shown. Pin 12 is PCC, pin 7 is ground, pin 14 generates 5 volts reference. Pull pin 13 to 5 volts to configure the output drivers as a push pull topology. So the dead time will be pulled down to ground by a 10 kilo ohms resistor. Connect the feedback pin 3 to pin 2 through a 51 kilo ohms resistor and pull up the inverting terminals of the two air amplifiers to 5 volts so as to enable the output. Pull down the non-inverting terminals in 1 and 16 to ground to ensure that the output does not change based on the feedback from the air amplifiers. The frequency is determined by the formula 1 or over 2 RT CT with RT being R1 and CT being C1. The formula is shown and with the parameters as 100 nanofarads and 100 kilo ohms the frequency will be 50 Hz, which is ideal for most electronic appliances. So the output transistor drivers, the open correctors are pin 8 and 11 and the emitters are pin 9 and 10. Ground the emitters and the open correctors would be used as the gate drive for the output MOSFETs. When the first transistor is turned on, pin 8 will be ground but pin 11 will be high since the second transistor will be off and so the MOSFET P1 will conduct. So current will flow from the 12 volt rail through the center tap primary, through the upper half primary winding, through the Q1 and to ground. When the second transistor turns on, the second MOSFET will conduct. Since the gate of the Q1 will be pulled down to ground, but the first transistor is off, so at C1 there will be a high pass. Current will flow from the 12 volts rail through the lower half primary winding, through the MOSFET and to ground. So depending on the transformation ratio of your transformer, the output will be for example, if the transformation ratio is about 1 is to 20, you can obtain a 240 volts output. If it's 1 to 18, you can obtain somewhere around 220 volts. But 1 is to 20 is ideal since there will be some losses, and this will compensate to ensure that you get a good 220 volts AC at your output. This is sufficient to operate most electrical appliances. So the transformer depends on the power you are needing. As a startup, you can use one from an old microwave oven. They can handle easily at least 1000 amperes, and this should be more than enough if you parallel move the IRF Z44 transistors or use more powerful transistors such as the IRF 3205 MOSFETs, which can handle up to 100 amperes. And with just a single one of those on each side with the appropriate heat sink, you can easily obtain a thousand watts without a problem. The runtime will depend on the battery capacity. I recommend you use a battery with an ampere hour of at least 20 AH to obtain a decent runtime. And you can use it for emergency power surprise. The PCB is as shown. So here you have your input. This is the input decoupling capacitor. This is the IC and its biasing components. So this is the second MOSFET and the first MOSFET. Here you connect your primary winding. This is the center tap. This is one side of the primary winding and the other end. In case you are interested in the very review, it looks as shown. It's a very tiny PCB. I believe it just measures about 6 cm by 4 cm. So, this is the review. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more amazing projects and tutorials. And also, click the bell icon to get notified immediately when I upload new videos. I wish you a nice time.